Well, it seems to me, though, like, and, and this may be my own, my own idiosyncratic reading of the, of, the, of the domain, but when I look at something like, like I've often considered the, a cathedral dome, let's say, and there are very, very old cathedral domes that have an image of Christ put up against the dome, right? So as, as creator of the cosmos, okay? And I'm trying to look at that from a psychological and even a biological perspective. And what I see is the elevation of a particular image that represents an ideal. And so the, 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 the Christ that's represented on the, on, the, on the dome of a cathedral is something that's projected up into celestial space. So it's, it's an ideal to which you are supposed to be subordinate or that you're supposed to embody. And the ideal is the ideal of the Logos, technically speaking, the Logos, the Word made flesh, which is not only the Word, free speech for lack of a better term, but also the embodiment of that, elevated to the highest principle. And, and, and that is given status as the creator of the universe. And the reason for that in part, and this is written into the Judeo-Christian doctrine right from line one, is the idea that it's through the discourse that you value so much that we actually engender the world as such. And that is a divine principle. And it's, it's also, in my reading, the divine image of God that men and women are made in. And so what I see in the underlying metaphysic, where, where you see superstition and, and fundamentalism, and look, fair enough, I, and it's not like I would ever argue that that's not a danger. I see the imagistic and, and, and dramatized representation of exactly the idea that you hold to be paramount above all else, which is your commitment to truth, expressed well, in speech. Okay, well, so my concern, and this is, this is where I started with you, is that you could give the same charitable reading of astrology, and you'd even be tempted to do it as we as we talk about astrology, as you showed at the outset. Now, but I don't well, think I'm it's a, why is it a charitable reading, Sam? Like, well, no, so the, how uh, else would you explain the existence of something like a cathedral with that okay, image? Like, I what the hell I, were I'm, people I'm, doing I'm, when they built that? I'm saying we could. It's, it's by dint of mere historical contingency and questionable luck that we're not living in a world where the cathedrals have stained glass windows with signs of the zodiac on them, right? We could be in that world. Well, we are, we're, we, we are. Were, because we were very astro- close look, to being in that world. We are in that world to some degree because the astrological endeavor in the Judeo-Christian landscape expanded to incorporate Christianity. And there's an okay. entire astrology of Christianity, including yeah, representation yeah, of yes, Christ uh, as astro- the sun. Astro- so we are run, in that world. Through, through, yes, yeah, yeah, so, but my point is, is that we recognize that the literal claims of astrology. The, the mechanism by which astrologers think it works is intellectually bankrupt, right? And if any significant mayhem were being caused by people's commitment to astrology, if we had presidents of the United States who couldn't get elected unless, unless they paid lip service to a literal belief in astrology, if we had presidents who were consulting their astrologers to, to figure out when to meet with other world leaders, right? Th- this, this would be a problem that rational people would recognize. I mean, astrology can be disproven in a single hour. You just have, simply have to go to a, a one hospital in one city sometime and fi- find two unrelated children born in the sa- within 20 feet of each other and follow their lives. So, so and, part, and if they part, have different lives, uh, then, then, they're, then part, the, the, the part signs of, your, of the zodiac mean nothing. Part right? of your argument is, and, and validly so, is how in the world do we determine which revelatory axioms are worthy of respect and of maintenance. And fair enough, Sam, but, 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 may, let, but let maybe me, none, maybe, well, maybe yeah, not but revelatory, maybe that, just well, it, it is just a matter of okay. conscious agents like ourselves having better and better conversations. Well, that, 